What's up gamers, it's Wilson another video today and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys my top 15 mega evolutions I wanna see in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So this list is specifically going to be the Sinnoh Pokemon, meaning no other Gen Pokemon, just the Sinnoh Pokemon. Also, Mega Evolutions haven't been confirmed, and these are just suggestions and Mega Evolutions I want to see. Anyways, let's get this video started. So the first one is going to be Infernape, obviously. So since Pokemon Auras has Mega Evolutions for their starters, I would also imagine the Sinnoh starters also getting Mega Evolutions in the new Sinnoh remakes. Now, Infernape is like one of the best starters and it looks really cool. So, Infernape having a Mega Evolution would look awesome. I'm thinking that maybe Mega Infernape would be like some sort of monkey sage, but all I'm gonna say is it will look amazing. And having Flint, one of the Elite Four members, send out Mega Infernape would be amazing. And maybe help the issue a little bit for the fire type Pokemon because there's only two fire type Pokemon in the Sinnoh decks, which is weird, but uh, yeah. Also, if you want me to draw the Mega Evolutions that I mentioned in this video, then let's hit 20 likes on this video and I will draw them using my imagination in another video. Alright, so the next one is going to be Empoleon. So Empoleon is a really cool Pokemon to me because it looks like some sort of aquatic beast. And just imagining it having a Mega Evolution would just turn Mega Empoleon into some sort of aquatic god, which will look amazing. By making it into an aquatic god, they would have to give it Mega Empoleon a crown, a golden trident, and some more amazing things. If Empoleon or the other Pokemon I mentioned in this video have Mega Evolutions, all I want is to just make them good because then people might start disliking Mega Evolutions which I don't want to happen and I don't know how you can dislike Mega Evolutions but people mostly like it because of their design and how cool it is so if they have Mega Evolutions hopefully it is good looking the reason why I'm saying this is because another company a company who apparently created Pokemon Home is going to be making the new Sinnoh remix so hopefully they make the Megas good if they add them also it'll look really cool if Wake sends out Mega Empoleon which I doubt because he used Empoleon in black and white too so I don't think he'll have Empoleon in his team. Anyway so our next one is going to be Torterra. Now I personally think Torterra is a really cool Pokemon and just very strong. It will also look awesome if Gardenia just brings Mega Torterra like that would be cool but, Gar but Gardenia had Turtwig in Diamond and Pearl and then in Platinum version she had Torterra so maybe when you first battle her she'll have Turtwig and then like a post game battle she'll have Torterra possibly Mega Evolving I can't really think of how its Mega Evolution is going to be but it's definitely going to look cool maybe they'll add more things in its back and change its design somehow like maybe add more spikes or maybe longer spikes and just add some other cool things into its design now next is going to be Star Raptor, the bird Pokemon of Sinnoh. So I think Star Raptor would get a Mega Evolution because first, it's a really awesome Pokemon, second, one of the best bird Pokemon in my opinion, and third, Pidgeot has a Mega Evolution, so why not Star Raptor? But Noctowl and Swellow didn't get Mega Evolutions, so maybe they should give another bird, uh, you know, a Mega Evolution like Star Raptor. Now, I'm not surprised that Noctowl didn't get a Mega Evolution, no offense, but also because Mega Evolution was introduced later on, but Swellow should have got one in Auras, and I don't know why it didn't, but please give Star Raptor one at least. Please. All I can think of for Star Raptor is to just, you know, make it like a simple design like Mega Pidgeot, but also make it good. I'm thinking maybe they can make its hair longer just like Mega Pidgeot because it looks amazing. They can also add like more feathers in its wings and add more things to its design maybe and you know just make it a little more bigger like a bigger bird and uh, yeah. So next up is going to be Luxray. So Luxray is like one of my favorite Sinnoh Pokemon. Its design is amazing, it looks OP and it's strong. So Luxray should definitely get a Mega Evolution because I can see it having a very awesome Mega Evolution. So maybe they can make the hair longer, maybe like Zamazenta's shield size. Also maybe uh, make it look like a saber tooth because it'll look amazing and maybe add hair shaped spikes somewhere around its body and make its tail longer and bigger. Also maybe even give it glasses or goggles but a more cooler design because apparently Luxray has really good vision which can express its ability more by the goggles. This Mega Evolution will also have a good touch to Volkner's team and will be very OP so yeah. 
All right, so next is going to be Mamoswine, and Mamoswine is a very cool looking Pokemon and very strong. So for Mamoswine's Mega Evolution, maybe it should get some ice theme around it, like an ice crown or its horn being covered around ice and some ice spikes around its body maybe. All I know is Mamoswine is going to look amazing. Mega Mamoswine will also be a good Pokemon to add in Candice's team in Platinum, so uh, yeah. Alright, so next is going to be Gliscor, and Gliscor is also one of my favorite Pokemon in Sinnoh, and it should definitely get a Mega Evolution, because of how cool it is, and imagining it having a Mega Evolution is just reminding me how amazing it's going to look. So I think Mega Glasgow is going to have a better version of his claw and maybe his tail can be like a chain chomp or something. Also Glasgow can maybe have bigger wings and add a little more spikes to it because well, Mega Evolutions look cool with spikes and without a single spike, it doesn't look cool. Okay, maybe I'm over exaggerating. Spikes. This will also be a good Mega Pokemon for a Birthas team, so yeah. So next is going to be Rampardos. Now I can really see Rampardos getting a Mega Evolution because I think Rampardo could get more things added to its design. Rampardos is also a very cool Pokemon and sometimes I feel like it's very underrated and a Mega Evolution can make its popularity increase. Now I think it should have more spikes to make it look more cool. What is up with the spikes? Anyways, so maybe they could give it more armor like the black space in its head and put it as a shoulder pad or just around its body and then, make, and then put like spikes on it. Maybe also make Rampardo's hands turn into a spike ball or maybe like make it hold a chain holding a spike ball so like because his head is kind of looks like a spike ball so maybe you know he could be holding a spike ball to you know show that uh, design and just use some move like spike crush or something else but yeah. But Mega Rampardos will definitely look cool, and it will also be a good Mega Evolution added to Rourke's te Pokemon team, so uh, yeah. Now next is Bastiodon, a similar but different Pokemon to Rampardos. Bastiodon will also look cool, and again, it seems very underrated, and maybe a Mega Evolution can boost up its popularity. Now Bastiodon reminds me of a Triceratop. So maybe it can have a similar skull or frill like a Triceratop. Also, a frill is basically the skull of a Triceratop, just in case you were wondering. And also, I definitely did not have to look up what a frill means. Totally. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, maybe add some more spikes to Bastiodon. And on the edge of Bastiodon's tail, add like a spike ball made out of rock or something. And also, maybe make its horn longer to make it more intimidating. So it looks super OP and you know just cool also bastiodon however has a shield like face and when teamed up with other bastiodon they make a wall to protect the young so maybe mega bastiodon can have a bigger shield like face or some sort of strong and big protection it's also a pretty solid answer that byron gets mega bastiodon on his team but yeah now next up is Weavile. So Weavile is also one of my favorite Pokemon in the Sinnoh region, not only because of how cool it is, but also because of how strong it is. Now for its Mega Evolution, I think it should have the red thing around its neck cover its mouth to look more cool, and then maybe it's maybe like make its claws more bigger and i was also thinking that it should have a black cape behind its back because it will obviously make Weavile more more cool and also maybe add some golden spots or actual gold to its red crown and make its claws covered with ice since Weavile is an ice type and when it scratches a Pokemon they leave a frostbite on that Pokemon so that would be um, you know a really good touch to the Pokemon and this will also be a perfect mega evolution for Candice in you know Diamond and Pearl. Alright, so next is going to be Floatzel. So Floatzel was a pretty cool Pokemon and I think it should get a Mega Evolution. So for its Mega Evolution, maybe it could have a bigger yellow life vest, a surfing board, or a boat because apparently Floatzel's fins act like oars and its yellow life vest makes it inflate and float through the water. This Pokemon also saves people during water crisis and having a boat behind its back would look cool. So yeah. Also add the blue fins in his other parts and his eye and also add the blue fins in Mega Floatzel's tail. Mega Floatzel will also be a perfect Mega Evolution for Wake's Pokemon team, so yeah. 
Now next up is going to be Electivire. So Electivire is also one of my favorite Sinnoh Pokemon and has an amazing design. Giving Electivire a Mega Evolution would be awesome. So for Mega Electivire, it should have a plug on the end of its tail and those extra tails or whatever um, it's supposed to be it could be like a charger or something and like, you know, charge slash give power to Mega Electivire by by you know charging the outlet behind Electivire's back. Its hands can also have plugs acting like claws and shock its opponent and its hand on the outside could be an outlet so the wire or extra tail thingies can you know like give Mega Electivire more power or electricity so it can perform moves and battles. And yeah that's it maybe add some more patterns outside of its body and uh, yeah. Electivire will also be a perfect Mega Evolution for Volkner so uh yeah now next is magmortar now magmortar is like a duo with electivire so if electivire has a mega evolution so should magmortar so for mega magmortar maybe add flamethrowers in its hand and a like a stove in its stomach like gigantamax colossal and put more flames in its back so it's hard to think of mega magmortar's design but hopefully if this mega is in the game i hope it looks cool Mega Magmortar can also be a Mega Pokemon for Flint, one of the Elite Four members, but it does have it in the Platinum version and Flint has a Houndoom in his team, so Houndoom can also be Mega Evolved, but it will be more reasonable to have Mega Magmortar in his team um, if it's added to the game. Now next is going to be Toxicroak. So Toxicroak should definitely get a Mega Evolution for Team Galactic since the enemy team should get a Mega Evolution to add more spice into battle. So for Mega Toxicroak's design, it should maybe have the red vocal sack a design or give it like an ability to shoot poison since Toxicroak generates poison using that vocal sack. Also make its red large claw longer and give it two red, two red large claws. And maybe give it like two bigger horns and give it the ability to poison Pokemon by headbutting them with those horns. And maybe add a big stinger in the back in case a Pokemon tries to attack Mega Toxicroak behind him in its back. Where in this situation, Mega Toxicroak will use that stinger to, post, to poison that Pokemon. Also, this will be a good Mega Evolution for Saturn, one of the commanders of Team Galactic. So yeah. Now the last one is Togekiss, so Togekiss is a very majestic Pokemon and like Altaria, it should get a Mega Evolution to make it more majestic, just like Altaria again. So for its Mega Evolution, it should probably get longer red and blue spikes and make it seem like it's swirling through the air because in the original design, it's more like it's stuck in that position. So maybe for its Mega Evolution, maybe make it like move and swirl through the air. Also make its wings more bigger so it looks more majestic. And uh, also, this can be a very good Mega Evolution for Cynthia because Cynthia uses Togekiss in her Platinum team, but I doubt this will happen because she has Guard Charm, which she can Mega Evolve. So she either gets Togekiss to Mega Evolve and Guard Charm, but yeah. Alright, so those were the top 15 Mega Evolutions I want to see in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos like this one. And also, if you want me to draw these Mega Evolutions, then let's hit 20 likes on this video and I will draw these Mega Evolutions using my imagination in another video. It's gonna take a while, but will be fun either way. Also, comment down below if you like the Mega Evolutions I chose or any other ways to add more to these Mega Evolutions or what Mega Evolutions you want to see in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Till then, stay safe and have an awesome day gamers.